name is Ujwal and I'm from the team of Bright Champs. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to generate a maze game on Scratch. We all love to play many kind of maze games online, but have you ever wondered how to create your own maze game? Of course, you need not draw or become an artist to draw a maze, but with very simple steps, you will be able to understand how to draw a maze game using the Scratch platform. So let me show, first show you how to draw this maze game on Scratch. As you can see here in the screen, if I just click the green flag, it's going to draw the maze instantly at the click of a button. So how are we going to do this? So watch the video till the end so that you will get to understand how to use simple steps to draw the maze. Let's go to Scratch and get started. Now for initially, I will create a boundary wall so that we will be drawing the maze within the boundary wall. So for that, go to the Scratch, create the Sprite button and click on Paint. We don't want the fill, so let me remove the fill and make the outline to 30. And let us draw exactly a outline that is like a frame within the canvas. Make sure that you draw it within the canvas so that it looks pretty good. And now make center it so that it comes to the center of the screen like this. Okay, now the boundary is done. Let us rename this as boundary. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add or create another sprite which is going to draw the maze. For that, again, go to the paint section of the sprite. This time, let us select a color for drawing the maze. I'm going to choose a blue color and let us remove the outline. Now to draw this particular sprite, we need to draw a tile so that that tile is going to draw completely like a maze. Make sure that you first zoom in because we need to draw this tile very accurately. The size of the tile has to be the size of four boxes as we see here on the screen. Now each box over here is of the size of 4 pixels wide and 4 pixels tall. Now we have to draw exactly the size of 8 pixels that is the size of 4 boxes here. Now after you draw this make sure that you center this exactly at the center where it snaps itself. Next thing that we need to do is rename this as a tile and duplicate this again. This is going to be the name as corridor and we will increase the size by three pixels, three checkboxes, that is 12 pixels wide. Now let us increase the size over here just by increasing the width on the right. Now, after increasing the width, make sure that you don't center the style again because we, do, we should not center it again. Now let's go back to the code and start. Now, how are we going to draw the maze? For that, we need another extension. So at the bottom, you find an add extension button. Just click on that and you will find a lots of extensions like this. Select the pen extension since we need to draw the maze. Now all the pen related tools got added up over here. Initially, I want to erase whatever is there on the screen. So I'm going to take an erase all block and attach it to the when flag click. Now, I have to set the size of the maze properly and then draw. Now to set the size of the maze, let me create a variable and name it as tile size. Now I'm going to set the tile size to take a set block and make it to 40 but I have to change the size of the block. So that is why let's go to looks and take the set size block from here. Now I can give the tile size as 40. Let us see if it is increasing. No, actually it is decreasing. This is because our tile size is actually 12 pixels wide. Now, if I give 40%, it's becoming smaller. Now, how are we going to make it big? For this, let us do a small math. That is, we will first resize our tile by one pixel. For that, let us divide 100 
width 12 since our corridor is 12 pixels wide. Next, we are going to multiply this with the tile size so that it becomes to the correct size and put this back in set size block. Now, if I click it, we can see that the size is accurately good. Next thing what we need to do is I have to give it a proper position and also a direction. Now, first let us give a position by making it always to start from the center. Now, if you can see here, it's starting from the center. The next thing is it has to draw and it also has to take different directions while drawing. Now, I will put a point in direction block and since it can always move either straight or up, down or left or right or backwards, that is its direction should always be the multiples of 90. That is why let us take a multiplication block and multiply always 90 with minus 1 to 2. This will make sure that always the block takes different directions in terms of 90 degrees. The next thing that we need to do is to draw, of course. Now, how do we draw it? Let us go and create a block and rename this as Draw Maze. Make sure that you do not select Run Without Screen Fresh in the beginning for now and then click on OK. We have now a defined maze define draw maze block like this and now let us put draw maze over here so that it gets connected to this step now here we are going to draw with the costume of the corridor so that is why let us put switch costume to corridor next thing is it has to draw by leaving an imprint of itself and move next for that let us use the pen tool where there is a stamp block where it creates a stamp and then moves forward so for moving, let us put move block here and let us ask it to move tile size. Now, if I just click on this, you can see that it's moving forward. That's good. But I want this to move different directions. It can move upward, downwards or any other multiples of 90 degrees. So for that, let us add a turn block over here. I'm going to ask it to turn. And since I want this again to be the multiples of 90, just duplicate this. And this time I want it to take any other three directions other than the present direction. So that is why let us take it to minus one to one. That is, it can take minus 90 degrees or it can take zero degree or it can also take plus 90 degrees. Now, let us see again. So you can see that it's going well. It is drawing a maze, but how do I make it draw continuously? Now, if I just again put another draw maze below this and see, oh, it's going continuously, but the problem is that it is overlapping on itself and also it is hitting the edge and not making the maze appropriately correct. So for that reason, let us give the two conditions that it should not touch the boundary. So let us put an F block and let us tell that it should not touch the boundary. So let us go and put a knot and then put touching block inside this and tell boundary. And also since we also want to let it not touch itself, let us put an odd block over here and put this inside the odd block. And here, let me put touching color so that we can identify whether it is touching itself. Now let us choose the color by picking the color from here. Yes, so we have picked the blue color. Now let us put this inside. And now let us check how it's going to happen. Now you can see the problem is that it is only taking two steps. Because here we have given a condition that it should not touch its color again. But as you see here, it is already overlapping on itself. So because of this reason, after it identified that it is touching its own color, the draw maze is not working. Now, how do we solve this problem? So to solve this problem, we have to do a smart trick that is change its costume while it draws the maze. So simply go to costume, duplicate this one and 
name this as detector and let us resize it so make sure that you resize it right from the left side not from the right side now make it exactly the size of four pixels i mean four check boxes that is eight pixels wide and eight pixels tall and do not center this again let it be where it is let us also change the color so that we can also see what is the direction that it is taking now if i just run the code again we have to switch the costume before we run it the costume that we have created now i have put this before the draw maze and now if i run the code okay it is actually going but as you can see here it is hitting its own tail again while drawing so it is creating a block like this because of which it is overlapping again and that is why it is not creating any more base any further so what is the solution now that means that instead of going down it can take any other direction that is it can go either this way or maybe if there is a path upwards it can also take a path upward direction that means every time it hits its own tail it can try any other three directions and check so for that reason let us put a repeat block here and ask it to check all the other directions so here i'm putting a repeat four times and put a turn block again below this and tell it to turn 90 degrees every time and check itself now if i do this yes it's checking every time but once if it is hitting itself there is no further going again now again the problem is still continuing because once after it is coming to a dead end where it is hitting on its own tail and there is no further direction to go now what is the solution now the thing is we have to ask it to move backward all the way that it has come that means suppose if it is here instead of going like this it can it should go back this way and again take another direction like this or it can take another direction towards this but how do we make it go backwards in the direction that it followed now to do that we are going to take another new block so let us take another new block and name it as try directions and for this let us add an input and name it as start direction make sure that you don't hit the run without screen refresh even for this and click on ok now we are going to connect this entire thing in the try directions so let us put this turn block entirely in the define of try directions and let us connect this try directions from here so we have to give an input of the initial direction that is is taking for that let us go to motion and pick up the direction block which passes the direction that it is initially taking and also now after it identifies all the directions and when it feels that there is no further direction to go we have to make it to the direction that it has come so we are going to put a point in direction and we will again use the start direction block so that we are going to set its direction to its original direction but this time instead of moving forward we have to make it move backward in the same direction so that is why let us put a move block again just below this and let us put minus so that it moves backwards to put a minus just take the operator block from operators and put the tile size after the minus so this will make sure that it goes in the opposite direction now the best part is that it has become recover recursive on its own that is once after it feels that there is no more direction then this point in direction start direction is going to make it direct it again and it is going to go back try another directions by going backwards and it's going to repeat itself continuously until it completes the maze now let us check it how it works now as you can see here it is going continuously 
until and unless it reaches a point where there is no further direction to go so this will complete the maze on its own that looks pretty impressive now the final thing is we also can put another costume where we can mark start point that is where it is ending now for that let us go to costume and just duplicate this simply delete this block for now and just let us add another simple line or cross mark so that we can identify the end point from where it is ending now what we can do is simply rename this as end point and now after it completes drawing its maze we will finally switch its costume to the end point now if i run the code you can see that it is going continuously identifying all its direction it if it is identifying any wrong direction that is if it is identifying a dead end it's going backwards and printing the complete maze and finally it is also changing its costume to the end point costume which makes sure that we identify what it is center and finally we can also make it do continuously at an instant click of a button just for this draw maze block click on right click over here and click on edit so here let us now tick this option of run without screen refresh this will make sure that it continuously runs without refreshing after every step and finally shows the end result as you can see it is showing different mazes now to make it more complex that is to increase the difficulty we can reduce the size that is to reduce to 30 and this will draw another fine maze with smaller size and this is a complete way of how you can simply generate your own maze on scratch so i hope you have enjoyed this video by learning the simple tricks of how to generate your own maze game on scratch if you really liked it hit on the like button and share it with all of your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more such interesting videos and do comment below if you have any queries or to share anything with regard to this video and i will meet you again in another interesting video soon so till then goodbye